everyone. Welcome to another amazing episode of the Greek AF Radio podcast. I am Ari, and I am super excited about uh, today's episode because we have another up-and-coming, super talented, lovely young lady who uh, her story and her journey are amazing, and we love to, to kind of catch uh, these up and coming stars like before before you know they break wide and i know that this is probably coming for her because she's so talented uh before we bring her on let me introduce my co-host Foti stamos hello Foti. that's who are we how are I'm, you doing i'm doing great and i'm also excited because when you're excited that makes me excited <laughs> of course and, it does and and to your point absolutely this is really um for us so important because there's so many up and coming artists and stars and thanks to social media is allowing us to find these stars early on and i'm never gonna thank social media for the so <laughs> so like stop trying to make it happen well for us <laughs> we need it right now so at least we're using it in a positive way Let's yes that, you're right you're right All if right. you use the right. tools at your at your disposal in the right way they're awesome Excellent. so yes you are correct and having said that I want to introduce our guest, who we are confident and super excited to have on, uh, who has a wonderful voice, who also shares the same name as my daughter. Ooh. And having said that, let's bring on to our show, Ageliki Kostandin. Thank you so much for joining us and welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. It's so exciting to be here, to have this opportunity to talk to you guys. Awesome. Awesome. Ageliki, let's, uh, let's kind of... So, so, so the audience got a, a tiny bit of feel of what, what, what you're about, but why don't you start at the beginning? Give us a little bit about your upbringing. Where are you from originally? Um, uh, uh, fa any family, what, whatever it was, just give us a brief uh, history of you. Brief history of me. Well, I was born and I was raised in Johannesburg, South Africa, but my mom's Greek. Amazing. And uh, and being a very traditional Greek mother, it was a very traditional Greek household. We, despite having grown up in South Africa, I, you know, I learned how to speak Greek. I was exposed to all the the Greek traditions and the culture and everything. Um, and I've recently moved now moved to Athens, which has been so exciting. Um, and. In, in South Africa, obviously, was when I, I started with music when I was a little girl. I started with the violin when I was five years old. Oh, wow. Yeah. And uh, I've been playing and experimenting ever since. <laughs> so do you do you consider yourself uh, like a musician first and foremost, be, beyond everything else? Because uh, when we were chatting before we started recording, um, I, I heard a few things of what you're doing. But what, what do you... What are you? Are you a musician? Are you a singer? Are you a violinist? Are you uh, a Artist. student? Like what, what's first and foremost in your heart? For me, I'm, I'm a musician. I, I think I picked musician because the singing and the violin and the guitar are all and the songwriting to me are all very much linked. Um, and then I'd probably say, like, if we're going to go out a little bit more, I'd say I'm an artist. Uh, Going back to what you were saying about the whole studying part, I think what I'm studying is um, surprising me because I'm, st I'm studying medicine. I think that there are a lot of similarities that I think between medicine and music that uh, that I think in the first glance you don't notice. But uh, yes, I do consider myself a musician first. You know, it's interesting. Um... This is just kind of a side note, but I know two doctors that also are very, very uh, uh, musically inclined with uh, instruments. So is this like something that is, is that part of your brain, which which unlocks music, also the one that unlocks like the intelligence of being able to do <laughs> something medically? Because it sounds like uh, it kind of goes hand in hand with a lot of people. I don't know. Pos I think possibly they say that that they actually say that music is supposed to really help you with learning languages as well, because I think it's uh, I, I remember my mom always used to tell me before I go into an exam, I should just play the violin a little bit just to to like, I don't know, wake up my brain, because I think it's supposed to like you're using both sides of your brain. Or it's, uh, I, I can't remember exactly what it was, but but there is kind of this 
um Connection. i don't know crossover yeah because when, when you when when they say um if if a baby's in the womb and you play classical music it's supposed to like really kind of alter yeah. and, and open and enhance i don't know what it is but it, that, that's really interesting and that's, that's something just completely like random while yes. you were talking <laughs> that i thought about <laughs> But I mean, like, like I said, you're, you play instruments, you're musically inclined, you sing, you write music. So you have, you have a specific talent and then you're, you're also a student uh, in medicine. And, and it's like, it, 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 I feel like these things go hand in hand. I guess you have to have a, a specific talent and that talent comes from part of the brain and you have to have a, a level of intelligence. So what we're saying is you're, you're a very intelligent and talented young lady. A genius, look at me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> have you on the show. Sweet, thanks. <laughs> Big button. I said that's, and having said that, we're so fortunate to have you on the show. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, okay, so you're originally from South Africa. And uh, I mean, I think people could tell from your accent, uh, uh, a very distinct accent. Um, and you recently, and how recent was your move to Greece? I came at the beginning of September. Oh, so you're like newly transplanted. Like new. Fresh. new. But, but you're, you're, you're well versed in, in Greece, right? You visited time anytime before? Yeah, I've, my mom's family lives in Athens. So like as often as my mom could bring us, me and my sister, she would bring us to for holidays and stuff like that to Greece. So it was still familiar. It's always been home somehow for me. I think that's why I had this need to come here as well oh that's so cool okay so now you're in greece you are studying uh but you are also pursuing this musical career correct yes and you you actually released uh, uh some new music recently yes i did i released Can you tell us a little bit about it i released my first song in greek called cela trevo and uh for me, it, it, it felt really good to release this one because and, and to have it finished because I have, a, I have a weakness for Greek music. And for as long as I've been writing music, I've always wanted to be able to write in Greek. But I w was always so nervous and so scared that I'd be bad at it, that I'd put it off for so long. Mm -hmm. And I just made the decision I, I had to try because you can never get better if you don't start somewhere. Very and true. So, I took the, the leap of faith and I wrote this song that, that I, is very special to me. And, uh, and so that's why for me, I think this one's a very special, very meaningful song for me. And, and the, uh, this song is available uh, all over the place, right? Uh, we're going to have links to, for, for our audience to, to go directly to it, but you're, you're basically out there. People could look you up and they could listen to your music. Yes, I'm everywhere. Awesome. And again, <laughs> um, having said that, this is your very first uh, single that you've released. But leading up to this single, did you have any uh, inspiration or there were any Greek singers that you actually looked up to that inspired you to write and sing in Greek? Yanis Plutarchos is, is just incredible. I, like I've, I've told you before, I think I'm, I'm definitely his biggest fan from when I was a little girl, it's me. You found the biggest fan. You found her. <laughs> um, I think, so definitely Yanni Plutarcho. And uh, I love um, Costandinos Arriros. I'm actually mm. going to see him live this weekend. I'm so excited. So, oh, that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Told my sister, she's so jealous now. <laughs> <laughs> do, so do, do these... In we're kind of familiar with like the, the music scene in Greece. Uh, obviously, we're more familiar here in the States, but the music scene in Greece is pretty interesting to me. Uh, do a lot of the Greek artists, do they have like residencies that they play consistently or do they tour around Greece? Like how, do, how exactly does that work? You're going to see uh, Argyros and he's huge right now. Now, he is, is he playing like at the same place like all the time or does he just like kind of bounce around, you know? Um. From my understanding is, uh, it is kind of like what you say, that they have a, a Greek artist will kind of consistently go to a single bar or club or thing that they, they, they perform in. But uh, 
at this time, if they also sometimes tour, like I know Arihiro did tour, I think it was, yeah, it was, it was this year. He, because he released a, an album earlier this year, I think he had toured around Greece. And uh, from my understanding, the, this one that I'm going to is part of that tour. Oh, cool. It's yeah. also got uh, 50 Cent is coming to, to Athens. So 50 Cent and Arihiro are doing a show together. Really? Yeah, yeah it's, I, it's I, really I saw exciting. That somewhere. That's I, saw cool. on social media. <laughs> I thought that was a joke. <laughs> Believe it or not. No, we're all so all jokey, but we're saying that Arihiro and 50 Cent, the music is so different. We don't know how they're going <laughs> to make this work, but. <laughs> Yeah, but you know what? It could be. It could be amazing. Yeah. Sometimes exactly. when you can't, you can't see it, it. That's actually when it really like is something unique and, and special. So oh, this hopefully. might open the doors to a whole new genre of Greek music. Imagine, I, well, I can totally picture that. Yeah. What they need to do is is grab you on stage and uh, <laughs> get you to open up there. There you go. That would what? be a dream come true to open for Arigiro. Oh. Dream come true from your lips to God's ears. <laughs> well, we're gonna, you we're never gonna know. Make, sure you never this, know. make sure this episode gets as viral as possible. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, all right, so, 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 this is what's happening for you right now. So, um, give us, give us some thoughts about your future. Uh, you are full force writing music, full force singing, and, and this is, this is your passion. This is what you want to do. This is very much what I want to do, very much what I want to do. I think it for, for me, songwriting is just such a such a beautiful way of uh, self-expression. Like it's cheaper than therapy. Mm. So, <laughs> so, they so they say, um, I, but in all seriousness, I do. I absolutely love songwriting and it's a beautiful um, release for me as well. And I think it's having grown up um, on the scene of music, you know, from five years old when I was playing the violin and performing I think it's become very much a part of what fulfills me as well being able to go out there and share what I what I do I think is also something definitely that I'm going full force that I want to do going do forward you, do you find now that you're in Greece uh do you find you have more inspiration do you find do you find you're inspired by being in Greece to, to write more Greek music very much so I, I've, I'm inspired. I'm inspired by a little bit of everything. And being in Greece, definitely, I think there's a being in Greece, but also a kind of um, getting into the rhythm of living in Greece, because the rhythm of living in Greece is to me very different to the rhythm of living in South Africa. Mm. And so it try, kind of getting into that, I think, has definitely been something that's been has been has definitely inspired me to write and and to to look at writing in different ways i'm also very inspired by greek music itself so hearing other songs also i find very inspiring as well so it's a combination I mean, of a little bit of everything it's so cool to hear that, that you know you could you could sit with it within your own brain just sit there and and you have the the ability to to get this expression out and it, it's it's an expression that people love and appreciate, and and you have that ability. So I, I think that's such, such such an exciting thing, and so exciting for a young person just moved to a new country, has this this dream to pursue, and you're actually doing it. So our hats off to you for for everything you've accomplished so far, and I'm <laughs> sure for all the things that you will accomplish in the future, because it, it's just it's a great thing and. It, if, if, if the audience out there, if you haven't heard uh, Agilaki's music, like I said, you could find her everywhere. We'll have links to everything she does. So go and check it out because you will not be disappointed. She's a very, very talented girl. And um, so, so this is this is the future a prospect for you. And as with everything else, you're also getting a good education, which is very important, regardless of how the musical career goes it's always good to have that backdrop and um you know we wish you so much the best and everything that you do we would love for you to to be part of uh you know letting us know coming back and talking to us just being part of the the the, the greek af experience as well because we love talking to artists such as yourself and we love some backstage passes whenever you get <laughs> when you're, <laughs> with, when you're with, with 
when you're touring without a universe and 50 cent we want, <laughs> we want to come <laughs> absolutely i'll make sure reserve just for you guys awesome. <laughs> that's very sweet thank you so much it really to to have your support like that means the world to me thank you so much uh, we, we appreciate you and what you do and we appreciate you taking the time with us and we uh we're gonna feature uh your music as well on greek AF radio uh we're gonna do a little bit more specific promotions than like a, a regular uh streaming or radio station will because you know for you to take the time with us we want to take the time with you as well so we we we're behind you and anything you do anything you know uh you're up to just let us know come back again and again and um everybody out there uh check her music out check out the links in the notes and in the video and the, the podcast and again once again, thank you so much for being with us. We wish you the best. Uh, Fati, anything you want to? I just say? also want to thank her for taking time. We look forward to uh, being on the sidelines with your career. And whenever you need anything from us, please always, as, as Ari has mentioned, uh, we'd love to be a part of your success. Thank you so again. Thank you so much for the opportunity because it it really it does mean the world to me that 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 there are people out there listening and that you guys have taken the time to to listen to my story as well it, that goes both ways. You guys are really are so awesome. So thank you so much. All right, everybody out there, thank you for watching and listening. Ageliki, you're going to be hearing her name more and more. And we're going to be pushing her name more and more because she's just, she's an awesome person. It's not just the talent. She's, she's a very, very nice, sweet uh, young lady. And we appreciate her. And thanks everybody out there for watching and listening. And we will see you all next time. Thank you, Ageliki. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.